All right, guys, today we're going to get into how much money you can save selling your home yourself. You better get fired up. All right, whether you're joining us on YouTube or on Facebook, feel free to put any comments or questions down in the comment section. We'll absolutely get back to you before the end of the video. Today, I've got the amazing Lizette Hurtado joining me. How you doing, Lizette? I'm great. How are you, Joe? I'm amazing. Thank you. Happy Turkey Week. Happy Thanksgiving week. I'm so yeah, excited. <laughs> I am too. Uh, today we're going to talk about selling your home yourself, right? They call it for sale by owner or FISBO, FSBO. And there is money to be saved potentially, right? But we want to talk about how much, what are the odds, what are the different costs that you're going to maybe take on because you're for sale by owner. So we're going to get into all those different things. Lizette, I'm going to let you kick it off, man. Tell us a little bit about some of the money I might save as a for sale by owner. All right, so let's just start with the most obvious fact is, you know, your marketing. We're going to start off with professional photos. That to me is the first thing we should start thinking about when we're thinking about putting your property on the market, other than obviously repairs, staging advice and stuff like that. But we're talking about financial, financial. We as an agent, at least I know the majority of us agents pay for these photos up front. That's a cost that you're going to pocket. Um, you're not going to have to get a professional photographer out there or unfortunately, a lot of for sale by owners, what they do is they take out their iPhone and they start snapping photos and it's not great quality and it's not a great represent representation of your home to the public. Yeah, I think that's great. And, and I'll start with, you know, you're going to save a commission. That's, that's the whole, that's the goal is you're able to save a commission, right? And you can look up commissions, but I'll tell you, if you look them up, you'll see in any market, you're averaging around five and a half to six and a half percent is a typical commission. Um, can you find it cheaper? Can you find more expensive? Absolutely. Right. But that five and a half to six and a half is pretty average. So the goal is, Hey, if I'm going to sell myself, it's because of that, because you're giving up a lot of things when you're trying to save that commission. Right. So Lizette's saying, you're going to save money on photos because we're going to we're going to pay for the photos ourselves. And I'll tell you, typically we're spending about two to five hundred on photos unless you've got maybe a seven figure listing. Then you're talking about some different things. You might be looking in the thousand of maybe fifteen hundred dollar range for the photos and videos and everything else that you're doing. So that is one uh, thing that you're absolutely going to save. Another thing is marketing. Uh, we do a lot of different things to procure leads, whether it's Google uh, pay-per-click ads or Facebook ads or, uh, you, you know, the different postcards that you send out or mailings, or there's a million different things that realtors will do to get leads to your home so that the odds of you selling increases and the odds of you getting a higher priced offer increases, right? So you're either doing one of two things. Number one, you're either doing that marketing yourself, which I'll tell you as a professional, I mean, Lizette, we have these discussions all the time. We, we've both been in Nine years. You've been in nine years, right? Yep. And we still strategize constantly on the best place to put our marketing dollars as professionals working 50, 60, 70, 80 hours a week on this business. So if you're brand new to this thing, trying to do what we're doing, I, I'll promise you, you're not going to match the marketing we're doing, right? You might save some money, but you are not going to market a home the way we market it. So then the question is, are you going to get the offers and the, the price in your offers that we're going to be able to get without the marketing that we've got, right? So Lizette, what else do you have? Also, let's think about your time. Your time is very valuable. And here you're going to have an agent that not only backs you up 100%, but takes you and walks you through the entire process. You have agents with a vast amount of experience in different areas from marketing, from staging a property, from inspections, the whole closing process, putting you in the right direction if an obstacle comes away. We have connections with legal advice. That is also valuable. And I think a lot of times homeowners don't really look down the road of obstacles yeah. that come along and they think, well, I'll just bring maybe a title company and done deal, we'll close on the property. I mean, and, and another thing is also think of time on the market. How much time is an agent going to save you with days on the market where if you have a for sale by owner, maybe it's a little bit overpriced, maybe it's going to stay on the market a little bit longer. Maybe you don't have those top quality photos where when you have mm -hmm. an agent, they have a pricing strategy, they're listing your property, <laughs> marketing, and using sharp photos. And that's going to save you days on the market in turn, time and money. Yeah. And I think it's worth it to go through some of those time concerns, right, that you're going to have. I, I mean, look at it from, from the beginning to the end, right? To sit down and do photos with a photographer, that's usually about a 90 minute to two hour process, just on my end, just showing up and helping the photographer. On their end, it's even more, right? To get those professional photos. 
then inputting it into the MLS. Now, the MLS is the be-all, end-all. If you don't have the MLS, that is the number one marketing tool out there. So you should absolutely be on the MLS. Well, to input it as someone who inputs listings all the time, it's still going to take me maybe, maybe 60 minutes to 90 minutes to do that and do it well, to do it accurately and to get, because, because it's a library, it gives that potential buyer's agent or that buyer all the information they're going to want to make a good decision on your home. To get that information in accurately, it's probably going to take you at least two or three hours if it's taken me 60 minutes to 90 minutes, right? Then on top of that, you've got showings. If you've got showings with me, we've got a whole system to make sure I know exactly who's going in there, when they're going in there. It's all documented. Everybody who goes in there is a realtor and a realtor only. If you've put it on yourself, are you going to allow realtors to show it when you're not there? How do you know that they're realtors, right? How do you know it's not someone trying to come in and scam you? And scams do happen specifically with for sale by owners because you know, I don't have a professional real estate agent looking at this. This is just Joe Schmo selling their home. The odds of me scamming this person goes up dramatically, right? Are you going to let them show it while you're not there? If you've got a realtor, they're there. They can help you through those showings. If you're not, if you're not hiring a realtor, are you going to do it? If you're not going to do it, the odds of you being taken advantage of go up. If you have to be there and you're working, I assume you're working. Now you've got the challenge that Lizette, you and I face anytime we reach out to a for sale by owner, which is, hey, my buyer wants to see it at noon on Wednesday. Mm, I can't do that. I can do it Thursday at 5.30 p.m. Yeah, they can't do that. They could do Friday at 11 a.m. No, I can't do that. Would Saturday work? Well, they're going to be gone this weekend. Now it stretches into the next week. So you're losing showings. And anytime you're losing showings because you're, you're being restrictive, you're going to lose the amount of offers that you're able to get. And of course, when you can get multiple offers, you can start leveraging up. That's where you get the big prices, right? So you're going to lose the ability to do that. So that's just a handful of stuff. Then you've got the offer. How are you going to negotiate back and forth with the offer, right? Who is negotiating on your behalf? Now, I'll tell you, a lot of people will say, well, I've got to hire an attorney. And remember that. If we're not doing your paperwork, who's doing your paperwork? If you're doing your paperwork, I can tell you right now, I hate to say this, but probably 20% of the offers I get from realtors are messed up. And these are people who are licensed real estate agents. If it's from a for sale by owner, it's going to be even worse, right? The odds are going to be worse. Are you going to have an attorney do it? If you're going to have an attorney do it, you've got two things to consider. Number one, you just threw in some added costs, right? They're going to cost a couple thousand dollars to look at the paperwork, review it, give you advice, write it up, whatever it is. Uh, but you've also got to look at the, the different stances, the different point of views from an attorney and a real estate agent. A real estate agent is trying to get the property sold for top dollar. An attorney is trying to protect you in every way possible, meaning you're not going to give up anything. So a lot of times what I see with attorneys is homes don't sell, or at least the odds of them selling goes down dramatically because all they're, they don't care if it sells or not. They get their flat fee. Their job is to tell you all the scary stuff and protect you. With a real estate agent, we're thinking we want to get it sold. We want to mitigate your, your risks, but we also want to increase your rewards. So we want to educate you on the risk versus reward in every situation, making sure that you know what you're doing, right? So it's just, it's a different experience. So Lizette, talk, talk about some of the other things that you see, either with time being involved or maybe some of the fees associated with selling it yourself. Yeah, and then and going back to the fees and the marketing part and time, we are using the MLS and with that comes such an a long branch of third party websites that we are also linked to and other resources that are linked into that. We as your advocate are also here to market your property and save you on those marketing dollars when it comes to videos, drone videos, yeah. getting out there talking to um, buyers. So there's just so many resources that, that we have accessible to us that unfortunately a regular home owner seller will not have those access to that. Yeah, so I'm, I'm going to throw in a couple things, and this is this is going to be a lot, but you've also got to look at when you put it on the MLS, or even if you're putting it on Zillow, right, or Realtor, Truly, or Redfin, any one of those sites, are you going to pay a buyer's agent a commission? Because whatever you're going to pay them, you got to take that off of the savings. If you're not going to pay them, it's like 93% of home buyers use a realtor to purchase a home. That means you're literally trying to sell your home to 7% of the market. And guess what 7% is out there shopping without a realtor? It's the 7% who are looking for a smoking deal. Mm -hmm. 
So you've got the people looking most for a deal coming after your listing and you're trying to save money. They're trying to take advantage of you, right? They're trying to make as much as they can. If they wanted a convenient deal, a fast deal, a nice home, and they were willing to pay a fat price for it, they'd have somebody like a realtor working for them to get that done, right? Because they want efficiency and they want a great house. So just looking at the type of buyer that you're going to go after and the fact that you don't save the whole commission, you save half the commission, okay? But then the other thing I would get into is, and I, I jotted these down, the National Association of Realtors says it's 7.5%. Collateral Analytics, which is another company, says it's 6%. So somewhere in the 6 to 7.5% range is how much less you're going to sell for as a for sale by owner on average than a realtor. Why? Well, we're pros. Like we know how to market the property. We know how to negotiate. We know how to interact. We know how to get you through an inspection. And really, I'll tell you, 80% of negotiation, 80% of getting through a transaction is knowing what to do before you get to the negotiation, knowing what to do before you get to the inspection to set yourself up for success. The overwhelming majority of sellers just aren't aware of how to do that. So they're thinking, well, I don't care how good of a negotiator you are. I'm going to stand pat and I'm not moving. Great. You might not sell for six to seven and a half percent less, but what you're going to do is not sell because you're not going to, you're going to going to know the, the intricacies of how to get through those different circumstances. Right? So can people do it? Have people done it? Absolutely. But I want you to see, you're probably not saving that five and a half to six and a half percent average commission. You're going to save half of it, but then you got to throw on the marketing fees You got to throw on the MLS fees. You got to throw on the attorney fees. You got to throw on the fact that you've got to invest all that time. You got to throw on the fees to get the the contract signed, right? And then you've got to look at, are you going to be as good of a negotiator as someone like Lizette and myself? So I'm not saying do it or don't do it, but I want to make sure that you guys are educated before you make the decision to do something like that. Lizette, is there anything else that maybe I've forgotten or we've left out so far? You know, and I just want to say again, you know, when you have experience in real estate market as an investor, as someone that sells multiple properties, maybe you already got a a game plan, you've got all this down pat and you know exactly what you're doing. But the selling process can be really scary for homeowners. And it's so valuable to have someone Mm -hmm. behind you every step of the way and be your advocate and make sure that, you know, you're not making any mistakes along the way. If there's any issues, they there and they've got your hand and walk you through the process. That for me is invaluable. Yeah, and I'll throw this last little tidbit out there, right? I've got an amazing builder, Grand Construction. Lizette, you've got uh, a couple of investors that you Mm -hmm. work with. All of those guys list their homes with us at full commissions because they've done it without us. They can do it themselves. They absolutely can. But they know what it takes, and they've done it before and seen how much time, how much effort, how much money, how much coordination – Listen, I can figure out how to build a house. I can go be a builder and a realtor and a lender if I want. I can figure all that stuff out. But I know that the time invested and the fact that I'm not going to do as good a job as Greg Olbikowski with Grand Construction. That guy's been doing it for 20 years. He's a way better builder than I would ever be. Why would I try to do that knowing that I'm not going to create as good a product, right? It's the same thing with realtors. You're paying somebody for a service that you're probably not going to be able to replicate. So great points, Lizette, this was your idea. And I think it was a phenomenal idea, especially with the market right now turning. And a lot of people are saying, hey, how am I going to get that money? Maybe we cut out the commission. Do it. Guys, go ahead. Give it a try. But I want to make sure that you're educated. And if you get two, three weeks in and you're like, man, like most people, it just isn't going the way we thought it would go. Feel free to call either one of us. We're not going to push you into listing your home. We'll kind of walk you through some of the things that maybe you can do easily, free, cheap, quick, and and maybe you can get something sparked. Um, But if you decide that, hey, this is a little too much, we do want to get a professional. We're both here at all times to help you with anything we can. Lizette, I appreciate my my friend. Have an absolutely amazing Thanksgiving. You too. Have a great one, guys. All right. Take care.